Lockheed Martin's new hypersonic strike aircraft project SR-72. After years of silence on the subject, Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works has revealed exclusively to OR and SD details of long-running plans for what it describes as an affordable hypersonic intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, and strike platform that could enter development in demonstrator form as soon as 2018. Extreme speed is once again becoming a prized quality at the Pentagon after a two-decade-long hiatus following the retirement of the SR-71 Blackbird. Now Lockheed says it can build 3,800 miles per hour proof of concept jet in just a couple of years' time, an aircraft that could lead to a new fully operational SR-72. Amazing as that sounds. Does the Air Force even need such an aircraft at all? Lockheed says it sees these so-called hypersonic, a term that refers to speeds above Mach 5, as a very lucrative business space to invest in when it comes to supplying the U.S. with future air combat capabilities. The SR-71 was developed using 20th century technology. It was envisioned with slide rules and paper. It was not managed by millions of lines of software code. And it was not powered by computer chips. All that changes with the Lockheed Martin USR-72. Envisioned as an unmanned aircraft, the SR-72 would fly at speeds up to Mach 6, or six times the speed of sound. At this speed, the aircraft would be so fast, an adversary would have no time to react or hide. Hypersonic aircraft, coupled with hypersonic missiles, could penetrate denied airspace and strike at nearly any location across a continent in less than an hour, said Brad Leland, Lockheed Martin program manager. Hypersonics. Speed is the next aviation advancement to counter emerging threats in the next several decades. The technology would be a game changer in theater, similar to how stealth is changing the battle space today. During Lockheed's annual media day, the defense giant's head honcho Marilyn Hewson said, Lockheed Martin has a legacy of making fast aircraft. We are now producing a controllable, low drag, aerodynamic configuration capable of stable operations from takeoff to subsonic. Transonic, supersonic and hypersonic, to max 6. This is a strong statement. She admits not only that the company is producing technologies such as thermal protection, avionics and aerodynamic shapes for a hypersonic aircraft, but seemingly also that they're working on an actual aircraft design that would combine these technologies into a functioning hypersonic airplane. SR-72 is not the first hypersonic skunk aircraft. In partnership with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, engineers developed the rocket-launched Falcon Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2, HTV-2. The HTV-2 research and development project was designed to collect data on three technical challenges of hypersonic flight, aerodynamics, aerothermal effects and guidance, navigation and control. The SR-72's design incorporates lessons learned from the HDV-2, which flew to a top speed of Mach 20, or 13,000 miles per hour, with a surface temperature of 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. A hypersonic aircraft will be a game changer. In 1976, U.S. Air Force SR-71 Blackbird crews flew from New York to London in less than two hours, reaching speeds exceeding Mach 3 and setting world records that have held up for nearly four decades. But those world records may not stay unbroken for long by its son of the Blackbird SR-72. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.